All right, here goes nothing. Woo! Woo! Man, if that rock face doesn't get your heart going, I don't know what does, because that stuff is so, 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 so slippery today. So we're at Leech Lake, and we're about to do Leech Hill Climb. It's gonna get wet and rocky. Super hard once you lose momentum. Looks like this is what we're gonna be dealing with today. Bah! Big, big, big. Oh, oh, our feet are still dry somehow. But don't speak too soon because it looks like all of a sudden our wet season is here in a flash. Oh, oh my, nope, boot down in the water. Now some gnarly arse. Downhill. Holy shiza. All right, we're going down. Good old drum brakes. Squeaking like a salve. We're about to do the hardest hill climb I've never been able to do. Oh my goodness. Just it up. Just give her. Okay. Now we're about to get into it. I'm gonna give him a little bit of room. Here goes nothing. Let's try and take the right line over here. He took left. spot as last time. <sighs> this is hard, man. Holy. Uh, uh. This is brutal, guys. Yeah, I'm not gonna make it over that boulder. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, I'll see you guys at the top. Okay, we finally made it up that damn thing. I had to give myself like 15 minutes to get my heart rate back out of my throat. Now I've never been up here, so every corner is blind. 
Whoa. So an update on these Havoc goggles. My dad's got a pair of other brand, I don't know, some other type of branded dirt bike goggles. He can't wear his because they're so fogged up from sweating so much. And I know you guys can't see them wearing them, but these Havoc goggles are doing like, well, they're doing much better than his, that's for sure. And I love, I love this magnetic lens on these goggles, man. You get them wet or you get them, if you do get them foggy, a little fogged up or anything, you can just literally like, poof, poof, wipe them, done, put them back on. There's no messing around with the strap, which I love, but I definitely want to get a clear lens for the winter here. So slippery, but just like this, water gets all over your goggles. Just give them a quick wipe. Take them, bam, slap them back on. Good to go. Man, these rocks, like this bare bedrock, like it's weird because in the dry, this stuff's like ultimate grippy. Then it rains like once and this stuff is just like, just freaking so slippery, man. No traction on it. It's like you can go figure skating on it. It's so slippery. Is that Bass Lake? No. No. That's Bill James Reservoir. Right up this big one. Woo! Woo! <laughs> These rocks are so slick. This is so sick though. I like this. This looks like a good four wheeling trail too for the trucks. And man, this is an adventure up in the mountaintops. Why, I tell you, boy. This is some adventuring, man. Some gosh darn adventuring. This will teach you some clutch work in here. That's for sure. This is where drums brakes really fucking suck. If you wanna know what the biggest perk of having disc brakes over drum is when they get wet because they get wet and then you gotta heat them up by dragging them so you go to grab them and they don't work really well for the first five seconds Woo! so it's something to be mindful if you're gonna be riding in the wet season is well drum brakes suck and even then drum brakes just suck disc brakes just grab so hard oh wow Oh wow, oh wow, oh wow. What are we getting ourselves in? This is gnarly. This is sick. This is gnarly, but this is sick. Oh yeah, this is gonna be something. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I'm the Kool-Aid man, oh yeah. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh yeah. Oh no, oh no. All right, well I'll see you guys at the end of this slog fest. Boys, this is absolutely insane. We're out in the middle of the trails and we are riding down a literal riverbed. 